This box beam bridge does more than carry traffic over a large creek. It's the first bridge in Kentucky designed specifically for animal habitat. In the fall of 2018, the Bridge in Kentucky team came out to assess this bridge for potential impacts to threatened and endangered species. Underneath, they noticed staining, heavy staining from guano, an easy sign that bats are using the bridge. The gray bat is an endangered species and an important part of a healthy ecosystem. In addition to caves, bats also roost under bridges that provide protection from the wind and rain. Bats in the United States are threatened because of habitat loss and conversion. There's lots of conservation measures in place by both resource agencies and state departments of wildlife that are trying to replace habitat. And this is a unique opportunity that we were able to try to do some of ourselves. Project leaders worked with stakeholders like KYTC's Division of Environmental Analysis, district engineers, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and ecologists to design a bat-friendly structure. Traditionally with parallel box beam bridges, they have tension rods within them that kind of pull the boxes together. And over time, you'll get weather, you know, rain and freeze and thaw, those boxes will expand. The concrete will start to spall a little bit. That's where the bats usually take to. Bats were finding cracks and crevices that were safe from wind, safe from predators, safe from rain, and it created almost a cave-like habitat. We wanted to recreate those exact gaps, but do it from the very first day that the bridge was built and not have to wait for 30 years of deterioration. The design team looked at similar bridge projects in Texas that had been successful in attracting bats to roost. After construction was completed in March 2021, KYTC and ecologists waited to see if the bats would return. I mean, everything with this point was on design and, and hoping and wishing, but now the, the bridge has been constructed, so we're out here to, to do the proof and to see if bats are actually going to use it. I will say the first night we came out to do emergence surveys was a little nerve-wracking because we didn't, I mean, that was the ultimate question. If we be, rebuild this bridge to make it fully suitable for bat roosting, will the bats take to it? About 30 minutes before sunset, ecologists sat on different sides of the bridge to see if any bats would emerge from the pre-designed gaps between the beams. It's nice to, to be able to help uh, an imperiled species, a bat that is heavily affected by, you know, construction, human interaction, as well as white nose syndrome as well. So it's great to be able to, to aid in that. The team counted around 400 bats at the bridge during the June 2021 survey. They also saw bat pups. That's a sign the bridge is home to a maternity colony. During a platform survey two months later, ecologists estimated that more than 1,100 bats are using the bridge. Right now, early indications are bats are back. It's the species that we were trying to protect, so it's really good news. This bridge is the first of its kind for bats in Kentucky, but it could pave the way for similar designs in years to come. Going forward, there's no way that we won't look back on this and learn from what we've done, and I think it's, it's really gonna change the game for how we look at bridge replacements in the future.